Hello and welcome to the Fix-It Shed. So this is part two. I'm going to actually replace the wiring harness for the trailer hitch uh, in my Toyota RAV4. Uh, the wires had been cut. So I did wire up the old one a little bit more permanently um, because I needed to use the trailer and I was waiting for the new one to show up. So of course I went online and Amazon had them for about 50 bucks. Uh, I thought I could get them for about 35 but I couldn't find that one anymore. Um, so they had them for 50 bucks, and I, of course, bought a used one that was, it, it's not really used, I don't think, I think the package was just opened, um, and this was $45, so I saved about five bucks. Mostly what I was interested in was the wire that runs to the front, um, because it's a special insulated wire to protect it from the elements, so, and I also didn't have this little fuse block, so, um, and also they had cut off the wires very short going to the lights so uh, there wasn't much to work with so also if you want to see how all of the panels and everything came out because i left out everything pretty much opened up you know please check out the previous video all right so before i actually start installing i wanted to go through and see what i have and make sure i have everything i need so this is the controller so it which has looks like all of the wiring that I need, right? You've got, oh, come on. So this is your T connector for the driver's side. And then you have the green wire that runs over to the passenger side. And you have your flat four connector and you have your ground wire that connects to the frame of the vehicle. Um, we have the fuse wire and the wire that runs from the battery uh, all the way to the back of the car and connects to the power on the on the control box what it doesn't have <laughs> is the hardware that is supposed to come with it you know if you look at the directions there's a diagram here and it kind of tells you what what kinds of things should come with it um, you know you need a ring connector here, uh, a butt connector here, a butt connector here. <clears throat> You're supposed to have zip ties to secure all of this. There's supposed to be a foam double-sided uh, tape that you attach the control box to the car so it doesn't bounce around. That stuff is all missing. So also, also the fuse for the fuse connector, right? I have the connector, but there's no fuse here to go in it. So, you know, wire ties, not a problem. I have a gazillion of those. You know, I have the two butt connectors. I have the ring connector. I have a fuse. It's not the right one. This is a 30 amp fuse. This is supposed to be a 10 amp fuse, but uh, I can get a 10 amp pretty easily. So I think I have everything. I'm, I just need a way, uh, like a foam tape somehow I'm gonna have to get some of that or maybe I, I have might have something that I can use to attach that to the vehicle so but other than that I think we're in business so now let's get it installed on the car all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clamp this power cord down so that for the car just from the wiring harness so that it doesn't come loose there So I just don't want to lose my any of my electronic stuff, my pre radio presets or whatever. All right, and then I just pull that out. So now that's all disconnected from power. that back off for now <laughs> all right so now on the back of the vehicle I'm just gonna disconnect this wire it's no longer connected to power so I'm gonna keep the black wire just because that's some spare wire that I have around uh, I'm also gonna keep my spool of red wire so I'm gonna cut that off all right so now we can kind of remove this I'm gonna need to I think I need to make some more space here because they bolted this right in here I got to get that 
screw. That's the the ground wire. Let me see if I can get you over here. Yeah, so they bolted the ground wire in right here, so I have to get that out. All right, this is actually a T15 Torx bit in here. So I'm gonna loosen, oops. I'm gonna loosen that. Maybe. Yeah, that's loosening. Actually, that might not be a T15. So that's off. Okay, so now I need to get the T connector off of the lights and stuff up here, off the wiring. So I gotta pull this body panel out. There it goes. So I can get up here to the T connector. Yeah, so I pulled this panel away a little bit and now I'm trying to reach in and grab the wiring here. Okay, so inside there, you can't really see it too well because I have to be in the way. So the plugs are plugged in like this. Okay, so you press this tab down and then you can pull them apart. All right, so in an effort to give myself a little bit more play with these side panels, I'm gonna remove this little compartment here. I believe it's just four screws, one here, one here, two on this side and two on that side. Give me some more space. There we go. Yay. All right. And then we can pull the four pin connector through. And that's out. Just like that. All right, while I have this all ready to go, I am just gonna put this one right in on this side. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take this rubber band off. There's the four pin flat connector, flat four pin connector, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to feed that down through here, just like the other one does. connector okay so now I'm going to take the T connector and the white grounding wire and I'm going to feed those up underneath this bracket okay there's that and I'm going to attach Grounding bracket, grounding strap. Okay. All right, ground wire is secured. So now we can, we can connect T connectors. Yep. 
So let's connect the bottom one first. clicked in and then we'll connect the top one Ugh. okay that one clicked in okay now we're ready to run the green wire over to the other side all right so this T connector the, well the, the controller is going to fit in this area right here so we want to run the T, T connector with the green wire down through this bottom bracket. Alright. Alright, so where this red wire is going in, we're going to run the green wire. So hopefully I can get my hands in here on this side too. There. Oh. Now let's get this pulled out a little bit more. There we go. Now that gives me more space. And here's the connector that we're going to disconnect. This one's a little bit easier to access. I can see it anyway. And we're gonna do the other side, the lower one, which this one is connected to the body. I can't see exactly how, so I can't get it out. There we go. To show you, but now that's all free. All right. So now we're gonna run the green wire underneath behind the panel back here and I'm going to try and clip in the one on the bottom first since that's kind of fixed in place and I gotta get on the other side of the camera And that clicked in. Alright. Now do the top part. Second side always goes easier. in. All right, so you might want to use some zip ties and secure that somewhere. There's a there's a wire loom back here, so I might take that and attach it to that piece of the wiring harness. Yeah. So that's attached. All right. And I think that's going to keep things out of the way. So I think we can pop this. Back together now. That's in. Right. 
I think that's all clipped back into place. There's just some screws that are going to hold that in um, a couple places. But that looks back together. All right, so now I want to run the power line from the engine compartment back to the rear of the vehicle. And I'm not going to connect this to the battery yet. I'm just going to run the line from the front to the back. So when you're running the power line, you want to make sure that it's not in any place where it can get pinched. You want to keep it away from any moving parts. And you also want to keep it away from the exhaust system, which will get hot and could melt the wires. All right, so I want to route the power line. We want to go from the battery to the back of the car. So I'm going to go underneath the car. So I'm going to leave some up here. I'm not going to attach this to the battery right now. Uh, for one thing, I want to put the fuse link in there first. Um, but we're going to feed it. It's going to go around here, around the air thing. And you want to look for, like I mentioned, spaces um, where it's not going to get, there's no moving parts. It's not going to get hot and melt. So I'm going to go back down here behind the air cleaner and around the ABS system. But um, in order to feed it down that way, I'm going to tape it to this rod so that I, I, it's, more, it's easier to feed down to the bottom of the car. All right, now I'm going to go down to the bottom of the car and try and pull it through. All right, so now underneath the car, I am just going to reach up and grab that green stake. And right in this little plug right here and that'll go into the trunk all right so I did take the foam pad uh, foam tape that was on the other one and I taped it onto here just so that it would have some cushioning and now I'm just gonna use some Gorilla Tape That's going to hold that in there. Actually, that's actually kind of stuck. Good. Uh, I'm not going to leave it like that. I am going to put a piece of tape on there to secure it. should hold on there pretty well. I'm gonna cut a hole in this for the to slip over the power line so that then this plug can uh, can go back into place. be a hole in here but this is not how that was wire was run before let's see which way do I want it it was this way 
It is. There is a hole. Well, I don't know how the power line was run. Huh. But I'm going to say that was it. Why else would there be a hole in there? All right, now I'm going to put the wire back behind here. Or actually, yeah, where is where's the black wire? There it is. So that's down below. So we can. All right, now I'm going to use one of the butt connectors and connect those two lines. Secure. Now you could take this and route it down through the under the trunk and have it attached out here by the trailer hitch, but I'm just going to leave mine so that it goes through the hit the uh, hatch and I can close the hatch on it and it'll plug in there. All right, now I'm just gonna go along and use some zip ties and secure the wire in place. All right, so I put the loop on the end of this, crimp that on, and now I'm going to just lock this tab down so that it doesn't come loose. 
And then I'm going to loosen this nut off. Oop, wrong way. And put the loop right on there. So this is actually still not live because there's no fuse in here, so it's really not powered yet. <clears throat> all right, and then we're going to zip tie all of that. Keep it out of the way. Put it over on this side. All right, so I'm going to temporarily put this 30 amp fuse in. Just to test it until I can get the 10 amp fuse. Okay, so we got the old wiring system out. I got the new wiring system in, tested it out. Looks like it's working okay. I just need to get the appropriate fuse for it, uh, and then it should be ready to go. So if you got something out of this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to help support this channel, please consider subscribing or click clicking the join button below to become a member. Thanks for watching. Take care.